it going, everybody? This is Echo Papa, and today we're talking about controlling two decks with one time code. There's lots of reasons why you may find yourself using only one time code. Maybe a turntable breaks or uh, one of your pieces of vinyl wears out. Maybe you only have one turntable or one time code. Uh, for whatever the reason, we're going to show you how to do it today. I have time code here, and they're both turned on. But what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the settings menu. And you can see I have time code 1 and time code 2. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to delete the one that we're not going to be using. Uh, in this case, we're going to use 1 and 2. If you're using the other one, you know, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, and if you don't have time code set up, it's real easy. All you got to do is go to the drop down box, go to the time code, uh, select the time code uh, sound card or device that you're, you're going into, and then select, select which channel it's going into. And then we're going to click apply. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up your time code. Now, a lot of times, uh, if, if you are already running the time code, uh, this will already be done for you. But let's go ahead and put the needle on the record. And there it is. And it's, it's calibrated. It's good to go. We can click calibrate if we, if we want to. And we'll go ahead and we'll close this out. Now, the first thing that you'll notice, uh, let's go ahead and stop this. The first thing that you'll notice is that uh, the time code is on here, but over here it is off. Uh, and the reason it's off because now we only have one time code. Now, uh, what Virtual DJ allows you to do uh, naturally is if you click over here, now the time code will be controlling this deck. So if we, if we press play, I can now take the time code and whatever I do on the time code, uh, I'll now be uh, controlling deck two. And if I switch over to back to deck one, I can control deck one. Let's go ahead and play that one. Now I'm controlling deck one, and uh, but deck B uh, or deck two does not stop. So we we'll go ahead and stop that. We'll stop this one. So all you have to do is click that button. That's great, but a lot of times you can't grab the mouse in the middle of a performance. So we're going to show you how to map that to a keyboard, so that way you'll have a quick keyboard command, so that way you can jump back and forth on the fly as you need to. Now the buttons that I've used are the brackets left and right and I have the the left going to the left deck and then the right going to the right deck and I'll show you how I mapped it. Go back down here to controllers, this keyboard, scroll down here, here they are right here. Now here's our commands, deck left time code active and deck right time code active. And you can use whatever buttons you want. Uh, I chose those because they weren't being used and uh, they seemed like a, a natural left and right to me and uh, they, they work pretty good. So let's go ahead and, and uh, do it. I'm gonna close this out and uh, we're gonna play both of these. So we have both of these playing right now. But uh, right now you can see I'm controlling deck A with uh, the, the time code vinyl. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to press the keyboard to the, to the right side, and then you can see uh, now I'm controlling deck B uh, all with one vinyl. Well, I hope that helped everybody out. Uh, if you guys want to find me, you can find me on Twitter at DJ Echo Papa. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends, or better yet, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.